An update to a story we first mentioned Tuesday night. A civil rights organization joins the fight against a controversial coal mine that's planned near a local drinking water source. CBS 42's Mike McClanahan joins us now in the newsroom. And Mike, the NAACP formally urges the largest landowner involved not to cooperate. Sherry, exactly one year ago today, students held a demonstration to, press, to pressure the University of Alabama to oppose the Shepherd Bend mine, but the university wouldn't take a position. Well, now the NAACP and 20 other groups are promising to turn up the pressure if UA won't come to the negotiation table. Neighbors are afraid this property will end up looking like this mine just upriver if Shepherd Bend moves forward. Other groups are concerned about water pollution and how the mine will impact the drinking water piped out of a nearby intake to 200,000 people. That's why the NAACP sent a letter to UA President Dr. Robert Witt urging him to take these concerns to heart. We want this project to be stopped uh, uh, basically because um, clean, we believe that clean is a civil right. We like to sit down to the table and we understand that Dr. Witt is empowered to make such a call meeting, you know, again, for those who support this initiative and those who oppose this project. A mining company, Shepherd Bend LLC, already has the permits and leases to mine some of the property. But opponents say the project won't really be profitable without the rights to the 1,300 acres which belong to the University of Alabama. Black Warrior Riverkeeper is one of 20 co-signers on the NAACP letter. And Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the chairman of Waterkeeper Alliance, even personally signed on to it. I think that you know such a well-respected and established group getting behind it with such an eloquent letter that we were proud to be a co-signer of is a great development. I hope that it gets University of Alabama's attention and I hope they do the right thing. A UA spokesperson says there are no plans to set up a meeting because the university has not been approached about leasing the land at Shepherd Bend and has no current plans to lease or sell the land. Reverend Johnson says the NAACP is prepared to organize rallies and to reach out to university contributors to put additional pressure on the university if necessary. In the newsroom, Mike McClanahan, CBS 42 News.